I'm always intrigued by landlords and type of properties they keep and the type of homes, apartments, whatever it is that they expect a tenant to live in. Just because someone is paying under market rent or low rent, that doesn't give you the right to keep it like a slum. And landlords should really be embarrassed about the type of homes that they're providing for human beings to live in. Homes that are often uh, worse than a doghouse. So this story intrigued me because I'm always reading about landlords and rentals. Someone is renting a sketchy shack in Toronto for $1,200 a month. So have a look at that. Would you rent that for $1,200? Now, the it's kind of a click bait story a little bit because it's not actually for you to rent and live in. This is for you to run your business. <laughs> Would you run your business out of this? So this landlord is asking for $1,200 a month. He wants three months rent up front. Um, there is no guarantee there'll be water, but there is electricity. It's not heated. So even if you're running it as a business, how are you going to meet your clients there? It is 800 square meters, but he, I'm sure he means 800 square feet because that does not look like 800 square meters. <laughs> but what are you going to really use it for? Maybe to park your bike. Is it even large enough for a boat? But it's advertised as good for small office, storage, car, motorcycle, parking, small workshop, and so on. Um, you must sign the six months lease, lease with that three month deposit that I mentioned. No AC, obviously. <laughs> Listen, if you want to rent a space, the title is perfect for this. It's sketchy. Come on, landlords, you can do better. If you're running a business, provide better accommodations for, for your business clientele. This is a, an epic fail. And this was on Facebook Marketplace. What do you think? <laughs> Would you rent this?